Welcome to this POV review by Autostop NL. My name is Martin and today I'm taking a look at three cars, three very, very interesting cars, three BMW M3 series cars. So we have an M Performance model and we have two full-blown M cars. We have the M3 4Ti Touring, the M3 Non-Comp and an M3 Competition with X-Drive and a race chip. So that's the ultimate of M3s. Now, these two also have been equipped with race chip, and today we are going to find out how they differ and how they perform with their race chips installed. Let's quickly walk through the setups and how they are different. This is an M3 4Ti. Underneath here, we have a three liter single turbo B58 engine. We have stock X-Drive and stock HP ZF gearbox. 374 horsepower and with the race chip installed, it goes up to 462. Now here, this is the M3 rear wheel drive, not X-Drive. Three liter bi-turbo S58 stock. It has 480 horsepower and with the race chip, a little over 600. That's a big, big upgrade. Now here we have the same recipe, but uh, this is a manual by the way, six speed manual. This has an eight speed ZF auto like the M3 4Ti, the same S58 bi turbo engine. Normally uh, the competition has 510 horsepower, but with the race ship installed 660 through all four wheels. So you can actually use it. That's going to be impressive. Now let's have a look at some mods I did. This is my family car. As you can see, my two little daughters sit in the back here. My two dogs sit way in the back. And this is how my day starts. I take this car, I take the dogs, I take the kids, I drop the kids off at daycare, and then I take the dogs for a walk. Then I give the car to my girlfriend. She goes to her work with this car. I take the M3 and I go to my work. That's how I start my day. So, the B58 and performance. Um, it's a super, super sweet engine. Very, very different experience to the S58, but I have done a few mods like this. Super, super sweet. Even to intake gives such, such a cool sound. And right there is the best mod you can have for this engine, which is an FI 200 cell downpipe. Uh, it's just plug and play. This is an OPF model, but you can just install it. You don't need to do any coding or software bullshit. You just enjoy the sound and it doesn't give any fault codes. So if you want one of these, go check out the link in the description or go to Gijs Bertse, BMW specialist. They have them in stock and they can install it for you. So right here, I have the race chip GTS Black installed and I can activate it through my phone let's do that let's go to map 7 most powerful setting <laughs> so normally when my girlfriend drives this car the tuning is deactivated which is such a convenient feature with race ship but then I get in the car and I put it into race mode oh, there we go 462 horses please and what I also installed is this and performance bare carbon fiber interior kit which is super, super nice. Let's put the gearbox into sport mode. The car into sport plus. Normally go for sport individual because I don't like the super heavy sport plus steering. You hear that sound, that nice raspy sound? That's because of that downpipe. And there we go. Man, that is so cool. I can just feel the fact that I just turned on the tuning. It's especially the torque. The added torque is immense. So if you want to check out the full video, installing the race chip, doing all the acceleration tests, go check it out in the top right corner. Now look at how easily this thing does its top speed. That's it, 265 on the speedo. 
So, 100 to 200. Stock, it did a 10.8. With the race chip turned on, it's a 9.6. So that is a great, great improvement. This is not really the M340i, how you should drive it, you know, in this like aggressive manner. That's not how I like this car. I put it into sport individual. And as I said, um, the steering is a bit more supple that way. And I put it into D, not into S. And then you just lean on that massive torque and drive the car at like 80% instead of 100. Oh, nice little inventory blow off there. That's also such a cool sound. That's the cool thing with these B58 powered cars. There are so many molds out there, so many cool things to make your car just a little cooler. But this video is also about M3 versus M340i. Uh, and even though we have the power to like think of an M3 Touring. It's, it's a bit of an equivalent of an M3 Touring, but you know, in terms of handling and, and just the feel of the car, it's, it's nothing like the M3. You could hear the tires squealing back there. Um, an M3 wouldn't do that, not even near. You can do massive speeds in that corner with an M3 but you cannot do that with the M3 4GI. So this has been really set up for the road and for the road, this is the perfect vehicle. It's, I think, one of the best road cars out there. I really like the size of it. I like the feel of it. I like the power of it. Um, and when I get back to the Netherlands, where we have a very stupid speed limit I tend to like turn off the race chip tuning so I can use the car a bit more but luckily I cross the border to Germany several times a week and then I can just turn on that tune and experience all that extra power but Jesus I, I love this car just the foresight of going on holiday and crossing Germany with this car, with everybody in the back, just cruising at 200. Yeah, that's, that's what makes me happy and that's what makes me excited about this car. Every journey is something special and even my two daughters really enjoy this car. And it's a very safe car with the X-Drive. Um, it can always put down the power, even with the extra race chip horses in there. ZF 8-speed is exactly like the car. It has the same character. It's not as aggressive as in the M3. As you can see, downshifts, they're a bit sluggish at times, and the upshift is not, like, snappy. But, you know, it suits the car. It's really like the car they have the same character both the gearbox and the engine and the car it's just a great match i think i don't really use these flappy pedals in this car yeah that's the fi exhaust downpipe 200 cell and that inventory that make all the difference such such great molds Yeah, we have those stupid Bridgestone run flat tires that shouldn't be on anything with over 200 horsepower, I think. Oh. Okay, so let's go for a little upgrade and do what I do every day and step into the M3. So, now this is my true sweetheart. the love of my life when it comes to cars and have a look at the molds I've done. So, as I said, S58 engine. Now, 
This is the big party piece, the Armor Speed full carbon fiber intake with the full carbon fiber plating. Looks absolutely awesome. If you want one of these for your M3 G80, you can buy it in our store. We have them all in stock. Go check it out in the description. And we also have the Swan carbon fiber strut brace like with the F80. Super, super nice. It really matches the weave of the Armor Speed. And wow, this is such a great upgrade. Again, you can get it in our store. Links in the description. Um, and here we have the race ship. Let's go to map seven for most power. And let's go and check it out. So a lot more noise because of the FI exhaust and the FI 200 cell downpipe. She is a bit cold, so we do have to warm her up a little. Okay, so she's all warmed up. Let's go into M mode. Now, we have a six speed manual. This is the entry level M3, which means as stock you have 480 horsepower instead of 510 for the competition. And I've had this car for a year and I still love it to bits. I think I love it even more than when I got it 13 months ago. And for me, that's because of the manual. The manual has made this car so exciting to drive and just a lot of fun. You'll see that when I step into that Competition X drive, it is so much faster than this car. And as you can see, this M3 is so much faster than the M340i. Yeah, this is something you have to really, really, really take into account when you have an M3. Um, I've taken this on the track and with like a super fast right hander, all the fuel goes to one side. And when you have less than half a tank, it like sucks air and then you don't have any power for like 10 seconds, as you just saw. So that's a bit, <laughs> that's a bit scary when you go on the autobahn. Uh, yeah, I was going a bit fast there, but that's a bit weird, right? I asked BMW, like what, what's happening? How, how is that possible? And they said, yeah, you can take your M3 to a track, but it's not a track car. So it doesn't have a special fuel tank to do really, really fast cornering. So that, that was quite a surprise for me. Okay, let's pull a little gap. So we now also have a head-up display telling me exactly when to shift. You don't have that with an M3 4G. Yeah, you do have one, but it's useless. But just look at how fast this thing actually is. With the race ship turned on. Yeah, I will get a beep because of the tire pressures. Yeah, there it is. This thing is so quick. And then you have someone in front of you. You can lean on those ceramics and man, these brakes are so nice. As I said, I've done two track days with the car, just driving on the track the entire day and the brakes were absolutely fine. Now you will see that, well, it's maybe a bit difficult to see, but the other M3 has also done a track day at the Hockenheim ring uh, and it's on steel brakes and they are like gone. When I drive that car, I think, where are my brakes? I'm used to the braking power of this system and the consistency of this system. Uh, and it's just such a big difference. And I'm really happy that I went for these carbon ceramics. Now, a lot of people ask me, don't you regret getting the manual? You will never be as fast as the competition. And that is very true. I will never be as fast as a competition, not even close. 
because even stock I do like 9.3 seconds 100 to 200 with the race chip turned on it's 7.2 so that's a very big improvement um, but a competition as stock already does 8.0 so I just cannot keep up with a competition but another benefit of having this manual is that it's lighter so it's 35 kilos lighter than the competition because of the heavy auto gearbox and then I also have the racetrack pack so that's all the carbon fiber bits the lightness yeah this is noticeably more agile and more sharp especially in the front end than the competition and even more so the competition X drive and that's because of the weight that's really a big big difference and the reason why I prefer this normal M3 so last car of today the BMW M3 competition X drive so this is this is nothing compared to this in terms of speed performance let's install the camera and quickly check out what's underneath here it won't be that much well it will be that much different because of all those molds but here it is s58 engine this is how it looks stock Look at how ugly that strut race is. It's really, really not very nice. So we're in map seven. That means the highest setting, 660 horsepower. My assistant Max already left the key. Very good job by him. drive does 8.5 seconds 100 to 200 this race chip version 7 seconds and even more incredible 0 to 250 this race chip version is 4 seconds quicker 4 full seconds that is unbelievable this thing will destroy many many supercars of not too long ago with your family in the back and when the touring version comes out you can do the same things with your dogs in the back how cool is that okay let's hope for a bit of space it guys I have given you a little quick review of three race chip equipped BMW M3s I uh, hope you liked it I certainly did and man they are so different they might look the same but they are so different and I really hope you enjoyed that go subscribe to our channel Go check out this video and go check out the playlist of reviews. Thanks guys, bye.